Hello students, today I will be going to take your value education class of class 3. Okay, of class, of class 3, today I will be going to take your value education class. And today I will start with the chapter. Okay, so all of you take your value education book. And today I will start with the chapter, chapter number 1, Little Twinkle. Chapter number 1, Little Twinkle. First of all, discuss these four pictures. You can see four pictures from here. Let's discuss about this. In the first picture, we can see the boy is saying that I, I, will, I will give the ball back to you tomorrow. And the second boy is saying that's all right. Okay. So, the boy is saying that I will give the ball tomorrow. And the second boy is saying it's all right. In picture number two, we can see that the boy has broken when the boy was playing the boy has broken the glass of the car so the boy is saying i must go inside and apologize so he's uh, trying to show it show his uh, honesty and he was saying that i must go inside and apologize isn't it because he has broke the glass of the car in the third picture we can see the boy is playing with a video game and let's see what he is saying. Mother asked me to stop playing after 30 minutes. I should stop now. So he is remembering that mother has asked me to stop play playing after 30 minutes. So he is remembering that and he is thinking that he should stop now. So here also he is being honest. And in picture number 4 we can see mother is asking did you eat the cake? The boy is lying that I didn't even touch it, mother. So, the boy is lying, isn't it? So, the boy should not lie. And you can also see in the picture that a piece of the cake is eaten. So, here we can understand the boy is lying. And from all the pictures, we can see that we should always be honest and we should never lie. Isn't it? Now, let's read the story. Let's read the story. Little Twinkle was alone at home. Her parents had gone out for a party. Little uh, sorry, Twinkle saw a pair of scissors lying on daddy's table. She started playing with it. So she started playing with the scissor. Is it, is it a good thing to do? No, we should never play with the scissor. First, she cut pictures from a magazine. She enjoyed it a lot. Then she found a thick plastic card inside the magazine. It had a picture of a man wearing a big hat. She tried to cut it out. The card was thick and Twinkle had to press the scissor hard. So the card was thick and Twinkling was pressing hard to cut that. Then what happened? Let's see. She kept pressing the scissors down and then crack. And she was pressing the scissor to cut the card. But the scissor crack and the scissor broke. The scissors broke into two pieces. Twinkle was scared. She left the broken scissors on the table. What do I do now? Daddy will scold me, she thought. Now she is thinking that I have broke the I have broken the scissors and daddy will come and scold me. Then what happened? Let's see. Next day, her father asked her about the broken scissors. Twinkle's voice trembled, but she told him the truth. I was trying to cut a picture that was made of thick plastic when it broke, she said. So, when father asked her about the broken scissors, she told him the truth. That is the most important thing. She is being honest and told him the truth. Twinkle was surprised to find that her father did not scold her. She said, Daddy, I was sure that you would scold me. Now, uh, she, she is very surprised that her father did not scold her. Her father smiled. You told me the truth and they, that is the most important thing. So, it is obvious that his, his father has told her that you told me the truth. Saying truth is very important. Everyone makes mistake, but if you can admit to them, you are brave. So we all make mistake, but if we say about that truth and if we say that we have made a mistake, that is, then we are brave. Um, I love you. 
Now promise me that you will not take things from my table ever again without asking me first, he said. Now father is saying that do not take anything from my table without asking me, right? And here we come to know that saying truth and being honest is very important. And uh, if we make any mistake, if we admit about that, so we are brave now. Okay, so we should always be honest. Clear? So the reading of the chapter is completed and uh, the exercise of the chapter, exercise part, I will start from your next class. Okay, so today is up to this. All of you have a nice day. Bye.